So hello everybody, Marco here, my 747 home cockpit, it's been uh, at least a month and a half since I made a video, sorry about that, I've been very very busy with other things, so I want to just bring you up to speed here about my 747 Progress, 747 project, uh, as you know the cockpit is pretty well finished, it's been finished for a year or so, but I always got new things that I can add, new things that I... I always got something on order like for example right now well first first of all let me show you the last thing the last addition here very proud of them the the uh, yokes let me turn the camera okay, around so as I said the yokes real yokes just came in from England <coughs> about a month ago and I finally got the time to install them they look gorgeous there you go and uh, very very proud of them i mean these things really make a difference really make a difference it feels real you know like it feels real guys very proud of it so i got them a pretty good deal i think i paid about 400 dollars canadian for both plus shipping i turned out about 500 bucks canadian all all together and uh, of course I had to wire them and everything and that was it took me all weekend I had to paint them I use trim cloud brown and matches perfectly and uh, shiny brown this thing is so tough it lasts forever uh, anyways so very proud very proud of my yokes there you go gorgeous and um, so as far as uh, the cockpit itself I haven't really added very much I ordered uh, uh, a bunch of Zeus uh, I believe it, that's what you call them those Zeus screws you know so I'm gonna replace the the normal uh, screws like uh, for example these ones with um, Zeus screws um, they've been coming any day I know they they've already shipped them what else did they do I order a new one of these uh, transponder here because the old one failed so I got a new one well that was about 300 bucks the radios they work just fine and I love them let me show them to you in the dark I just love them okay so what else can I show you here let's see what else can I show you okay well the rest I mean is pretty straightforward you've seen this before and pretty well all my, my videos so, but the one thing which I want to announce today, I believe you already saw my electronic flight bag, works beautiful, I wouldn't fly without it, I mean, movie map, you name it, the little airplane moves around, of course, and it shows me all kinds of information, that is a great piece of uh, software, and it's free, um, but the one thing I want to show you guys is that... I just got the urge the other night because you see I had both uh, as you know my sim is uh, my main sim is FS9 and you know the reasons is because it still looks gorgeous and because it uh, flies like a charm at 60 frame rates it's locked at 60 of course and I got so much money invested in this thing that for me to start all over just right now makes no sense until they come up out with something that is uh, incredible I will not switch I mean look at this thing you tell me if you were switching if you were in my place if you were if you if you were gonna switch I mean this thing looks gorgeous I mean look at this you guys look at this okay so it's just this is FS9 you guys I mean but one thing I want to show you so as you know I had prepared 3d installed but once I tried it, it, I really wasn't impressed. So, you know, it's been sitting there and I've been using my trusted FS9. So the other night, I said, okay, I'm going to uninstall it, but I want to try something first. So before I uninstall Prepare 3D, and, you know, this is, I, 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 I'm suggesting something, so you better listen. Uh, so what I did is I went in the texture folders of Prepare 3D. Okay, of, of course, first I made a copy of my my. Uh, FS9 uh, folder I saved in a safe safe place then I made a copy of prepare 3d and uh, 
texture these are the texture is and of course not all of them worked in fs9 so i replaced the stock fs9 textures i'm talking the asphalt i'm talking the buildings i'm talking the grass i'm talking the water i am talking the uh what else uh clouds uh you name it you guys uh about 10 percent some of the uh, they were named the virtual cockpit uh, vc something those made my simulator freeze so i had to go back and what i did was i copied about 10 texture at a time and it took me all night and i would test the simulator to see if it would freeze and once uh, once I found the the, the, the faulty, the non-compatible files, I would go back and delete those, those 10 and skip them. So anyways, long story short, my simulator looks amazing. So basically I'm running an FS9 engine with several add-ons and prepare 3D 4.2. 64-bit texture so my buildings are not only twice as many as what I had before uh, but the the the, the facades at the front of the buildings the windows so much detail I mean cities are double the size of where before the texture the 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 roof the extra uh, the, uh, they had the restaurants and and uh, hotels I mean as you know so I mean guys I got the, the the best of both worlds I got the performance and and this is the thing I thought was gonna uh, decrease my frame rates not a bit because these are these are optimized 64 bit uh, uh, textures I believe so when you're running a, a 64 bit computer it actually I believe it actually likes it better because think about it you're running a 64 bit computer with a 32 bit simulator well it's it's almost a, it's a mismatch so feed that what it's supposed to be fed and and it's gonna love it anyways I'm just well, I just want to give you an update I'm gonna um, put the phone down um, and uh, and prepare for takeoff here just just enjoy it and I'm gonna show you uh, different times of the day and you're just not gonna believe what the sky and what the cities and what the runways look like just amazing see you soon Okay. All right. So it's called the uh, bug. See. I mean, you guys, just look at those textures. Just look at those graphics. Aren't they gorgeous? The airplane is going to do a series of system checks as soon as they start our pushback. Release release parking brakes. Release parking brakes. Parking brake. Oh. Okay, starting pushback. Auto brake selected, set to RTO. Yeah, 
Number four. Back on the four, valve open, and two rotation. Oil pressure. And two, twenty percent. Fuel lever on idle. Fuel valve by the four. And signal to run away six by valve open. Two care, two okay.
Graphics. This is FS9 2004 with uh, a lot of add-ons, but mostly what makes this graphic so beautiful is uh, the textures from Prepare 3D 4.2 ported into FS9. So there you go, beautiful. You will see once I take off how the lights, the scene is just look gorgeous. The illustrated guard in the seat pocket in front of you explains we'll make sure the camera is set. Is it recording right now? Prior to take off. Yes, it is. During the flight, if the cabin pressure changes, an oxygen mask will drop right. automatically from the panel above you. Remain seated. Pull the mask to watch you. 
Use the support strap to hold the mask over your mouth and nose. Adjust your mask. Breathe normally. Zero six. Always right. secure your own One. mask before Runway. assisting another Zero person. Six. Right. Just can't wait for the announcements to end and then we are going to take off. We're not really going anywhere, we're just going to fly around Montreal, I just want to make sure the scenery. Okay, guys. Zero six. 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 Yeah, definitely lots on. There you go. Dans la situation peu probable ou d'une urgence au-dessus de l'eau, prenez le gilet de sauvetage qui se trouve sous votre fauteuil ou votre abdoir. Retirez-le de sa pochette. In the unlikely event of an emergency or a water, remove the light vest from the pouch six, under your seat right, or below your arm vest. Place the light vest over six, your head and right. fasten the waist We are waiting for the announcements to end. Pulling the tabs will inflate the light vest. If it does not inflate immediately, it can be inflated by blowing into the tubes. The light vest should only be inflated as you leave the aircraft. Pensez la tête dans votre armure, fixez les crochets autour de la taille et tirez sur les propos. Pour gonfler le gilet, tirez sur les lampes. S'il ne se gonfle pas immédiatement, soufflez dans les tubes. Ne gonflez votre gilet qu'au moment de tuer. 1, runway, 0, 6, right, 1, runway, 0, 6, right. Thank you for choosing your camera. We hope you enjoy the flight. As soon as we, uh, we set our throttle, our trust. Assistenti di volo, preparati alla partenza. On runway zero six right. On runway zero six right. So as soon as we uh, set our takeoff trust, uh, we go about forty percent, and then we go forward to our most max, and there is when we engage uh, auto throttle, which will determine the amount of trust. We need the for this length of runway, the wind, the weight of the aircraft, and so many parameters. Usually it stops about 85 percent. So you're gonna see it right here. This is the other Zero six. Right. So there we're good to go. So we go about 40 percent trust. Then we go forward. We engage auto throttle, and as you can see, it went by itself right there. Check.
I want to show you guys how beautiful these textures are. So take a look out there. And we're gonna go around now. Now you're gonna see the sun is gonna blind you. As soon as we're facing the sun, you're gonna see it just gonna blind you. Just like the real thing does. Do you see that? Look how the sun is blinding you right in our face. Yeah, let's go towards the sun <coughs> once again. Look at that. Is it not amazing? The airplane is flying on autopilot. The circle in the airport, okay, you guys? the amount of buildings down there you guys so in other words these are the FS9 buildings and the prepared 3D buildings on top of them so twice as many they look so much more realistic you see balconies you see windows you see everything I'm gonna go down a little bit more to show you these buildings you guys I'm gonna turn around towards the uh, airport now We're about 1300 feet We're on the St. Lawrence right now.
is our port right there. See it? To our um, 10 o'clock. You see the sheer amount of how many buildings I got on the ground there? You see that? We're lining up with the airplane with the uh, runway. Up 20. So, I'm gonna pause for a second and I'm gonna pause for a second while we can put the camera down so we can land this thing, okay? Just look at that, you guys. You see that? I mean, look at these buildings. This is gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna try and land this thing. I mean, I did not do a normal landing procedure just going around the airport so it's going to be very tight but nevertheless it will be all right go down please go back yeah going down of course we did not ask for permission or nothing but that's okay this is just to show you the graphics yes. going to be a very ugly landing because I mean I'm very very close to the runway already as you can see so bear with me gonna be all right we are going to be all right permission to land or nothing but that's all right we even got altitude calls because we never asked permission
Okay, cool. The calls are all screwed up because I did not follow the the procedure. So of course the FDC flight deck compiler doesn't really know what the hell I'm doing. Thinks I'm taking off. That's why I didn't know here altitude calls on landing and everything. This was just to show you the graphics. The uh, what the prepared 3D graphics can do in FS9. I mean, you guys look at those lights. They got like a bloom effect. FS9 was never able to do that. But look at those lights. Let me show you. Look at those tractors there and trucks. Yeah, let me shut down this light. Maybe you see it better. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, I've never seen this. I've never seen this in FS9. You see that? Look at those lights. Look at those lights. Look at that, you guys. And look at these lights in this on this airport. Look at the shading and the bloom and just out of this wall. FS9, you've never seen FS9 looking so good ever. Think about it. Look at this. Where should we park it? Let's see. Doesn't really matter. When you take a look at this, you guys. Montreal. Look at that sunset. Isn't that the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? Those are the right colors. I mean, before it was either too blah, too red, too orange. Now it's perfect. Look at that. Look how the, the sun blinds you the moment that we go towards it. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. All right, let's park this thing and call it a night. says stop. See? Parking brakes. Parking brakes set. Brake pressure up. All right. Let me show you sideways a little bit. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at how beautiful this thing is. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Especially in FS9. Are you kidding me, you guys? Look at this. Look at this. Look at the sun. 
I mean, it looks like it's gonna burn you. Look at that, there's a shimmering going on. You see the shimmering going on there? Anyways, so, they shut this baby down, the parking, uh, the parking brake is set. So we're gonna shut the engines down. And I encourage all of you guys building the old cockpit. I mean, this thing is a pleasure, just a beautiful toy. Yeah, it takes a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of money, but it's not something you do overnight. I mean, I got probably 10 years of work in this thing, but really five years ago is when I got really serious. <clears throat> okay, you guys, so I'll see you next time. And uh, thank you. And if you have any questions, by all means, you see my cockpit a thousand times. There it is again. Okay. That's moi. That's the left side. The uh, electronic flight bag. And you guys. I shall see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Be good.